Hello, this is a Model 8 Beckstein which has just come into stock, made in 1913. It's a model we love to source, so very grateful to get the piano. It has a matching stool as well with it. That stool has um, an extra compartment here, rather it's adjustable and box, which is un... We don't normally supply those ourselves because the box is very small, because uh, it has to be cause f for the adjustment to fit on, but it's a very good, it matches extremely well. Um, looking at the casework of the piano, that is in very good condition indeed. It's uh, like rosewood as you can see, but very nice grain on it and the top is good, every part of it is good. There's just the odd little bit that we're going to try and try to improve, which we always try to do. Our polish will probably make it shine better and see a few defects and this could do with shining up too. So there's the kind of things that we'll always do. But the colour is very integral um, all throughout. Just have a quick, quick look at the other side. Uh, which is also very, very good. So very pleased and to get this in. There's a bit of a patch there, so we'll try and try and improve that a bit. Um, so generally good, not a candidate for repolishing, although we could repolish it and it'll obviously look perfect then. Now this is a piano that we sold in 2010. It's got a sticker from, on from there and it's come back into stock. It was, we often get our own pianos back in, but it has been moth-eaten. I'm just showing you the felt at the back here uh, to show you that that's uh, a clear sign of moth. So since uh, we've sold it, unfortunately, it has got moth damage, which is very sad. And clearly see here the evidence of moth. Um, I put a, immediately put a deterrent here, which is obviously not treating it for its current state just to deter deterrent of moth generally and we'll be covering this piano and treating it properly as we would with any piano that has moth damage that's really important that it doesn't spread to the other pianos as well but the felts under the keys uh, have been attacked they're actually quite level um, very often if there, there's moth under here then the keys are not level but you can see these are reasonably level so it hasn't uh, eaten too many of the centers here but when we lift them up we will find that they are damaged so looking under some of the keys, these felts haven't been eaten right through, So, but the key dip is too great really, that's 11 millimetres or so, sorry, I beg your pardon, 12, um, so, but I don't think that's related to that, um, possibly, but anyway we'd regulate that. And here you can see they have been eaten, but they're not eaten right through, therefore the keys are still sitting on them. And the back rail here is quite damaged as well, so that needs replacing. The main part of the action, fortunately, isn't very damaged at all. There's a little bit of signing for moth on the hammers, but it's not damaged them. Uh, neither has it damaged this part of the action. The tapes are new from when they were put on uh, when we previously sold it, and obviously we did lots of lubrication regulation. The dampers are pretty much regulated well, so there's a lot of good things to say, really. You don't need to do that. Uh, the dampers lift off pretty well with the pedal. Uh, there's little bits of tidying up to do. Just have a listen to the tone, it's very out of tune, it's about f five or six beats flat. And it's a bit soft so it needs refacing and uh, voicing. But nice warm sound. And that's going to be as good as any Model 8 will be once it's tuned and the tuning pins are tight so that's encouraging, the original tuning pins. Um, so very pleased to have got that. There's a serial number on the piano that help, that allows us to date it. There's a quick look down the bottom of the piano for moth as well. Um, this felt often gets eaten, but doesn't seem to have been. So the, there are some you know felts that haven't been eaten, which is encouraging. But uh, the keys have suffered the most, I think. So there's a Beckstein Model Eight made in 1913 come back into stock but unfortunately it has got developed woodworm oh uh, sorry moth not woodworm um, and the key dip is quite great as well I don't think it's related to that so obviously we've got to treat the woodworm there's lots of things we don't have to do but unfortunately that's going to take a lot of time so obviously um, we didn't expect that and it's also quite mellow I think we're going to brighten the tone about they are mellow anyway, Beckstein's um, Model 8s, but uh, this is a bit too mellow, so we'll be 
and making that brighter. The key weighting um, is not too bad. Um, I'll show you actually, I haven't shown the worksheet of this, so I'll put that on at the end of the video just for you to be able to see it. At the moment it's well out of tune, so I won't play it too much, sorry about that. But the damping's good. Um, I won't go on any longer. That'll do. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll put the, the worksheet on the end of the video so you can see the kind of work we need to do. So that's the worksheet that we always do these days to show what sort of work needs doing and to make sure we check everything. So we can see that the piano has been sold by us before, um, but since then it's got moth. And uh, so there's sort of work we don't have to do, but there's work that we really didn't realise we we're going to have to do. So we have first order is to cover the whole piano and then treat it for moth. And uh, after that, we can start working on it. So obviously we don't want the moth to spread and we don't want it to spread inside this piano. So as usual, we've got the key waiting, as you can see, and uh, a list of main work to do and then a check of everything else. Thank you very much.